The scholars have said that uh, love is what you feel inside your heart towards a person. Mawadda is the expression of the love. Huh? Is the expression of the love. Sometimes we have people in the Sharia court, they come to us and they are fighting and the wife says, he doesn't love me. He says, of course I love you, honey. You, if I can show you my heart, you see it's spilling with love. What is she saying? There's no affection. And you're not showing me that love. So Allah says he's placed between you mawadda. Right? The affection. The idhar al-hub. It's more of a verb. The expression of love and rahmah, mercy. Why did they come side by side? Why the Quran is miraculous, la ilaha illallah. Why affection and mercy? Why not just affection? I mean, this is the image that Hollywood promotes to us, that all you need is love. They lived happily ever after. Why mercy? The reason that both of them were required is because one leads to the other. That's the first thing. One leads to the other. In the beginning of a relationship, what is it? It's passion. It's like a hot coal or flickering flames. It's, 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 it's excitement. It's love. It's romance. There's not much affection. Yes? But then what happens later on in life as they grow all together? The mercy kicks in. So now they can't live with one another. They feel sorry for one another. There's sorrow for one another. So he's placed between affection and, and mercy. So in the first part of a marriage, there is a huge amount of love. Later on, there is mercy. Allah said there is both between. First